Located in East Africa, Kenya is one of the richest countries in Africa and the most advanced. She is home to over 50 million people. And speaking of people, Kenya is a country mainly defined by her political moves. Kenya has been for a long time one of the countries in Africa which are considered top dogs. For starters, Kenya is unbeatable on all fronts. Speaking of tourism, transport, education, technology, stable economy, Kenya has it all. She is like that favorite child of the family. You know, that child who easily gets it all. Being one of the most sovereign states in Africa, Kenya is governed by the rule of law. Kenya straddles the equator and is located on the eastern coast of Africa. Roughly one and a half times the size of Japan, it covers a surface area of about 586,600 square kilometers. The Kenyan president is called William Ruto. You must have heard him in many cases, especially when the topic the president of Africa comes by. He has been championing Africa wherever he goes thus making him being termed as Africa's leader. But with all these praises, the Kenyan president is facing a nightmare back at home. And this nightmare is going to reshape the state of the country forever. Talk of a country being at an uncontrollable state. Unfortunately, things are falling apart in Kenya. What I mean is that Kenya is splitting into two. And it's now evident more than ever before. Welcome back to Storytelling Recap. We would like to ask you to please subscribe and like this video if you like content like this. By doing so, you will be notified whenever we upload a new video and motivate us to produce more videos. This means you will be always updated on what's happening worldwide. And if you have already subscribed, welcome back and be blessed. Here, we upload the best content on what's happening that will keep you watching and entertained as well. So, if you love videos like this, once again, subscribe, like and comment down below what you think. With that said, let's start the video. Picture this, the healthcare system, once a beacon of hope, now engulfed in turmoil as doctors across the country take to the streets and protest. But fear not, for in the midst of chaos, one man steps up to the plate, none other than Rayla Odinga, the opposition leader with a knack for stirring the pot. You see, Odinga isn't one to mince words. He's out there, loud and clear, demanding justice for the interns doctors whose pay has been slashed. And can you blame him? These interns, the backbone of our hospitals, deserve better, after all, they're the ones keeping our healthcare system afloat. But alas, the government seems to have other plans. They're playing hardball, refusing to budge on their decision to cut pay. And as the standoff continues, patients are left stranded, caught in the crossfire of a battle they didn't ask for. Now, you might be wondering, what's the solution to this mess? Well, it's simple, pay the doctors what they're worth. It's not rocket science, folks. If you want to keep the wheels turning, you've got to grease the gears. And that means giving these interns the compensation they deserve. But wait, there's more. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, private doctors threatened to join the fray. It's a recipe for disaster, a perfect storm brewing on the horizon. And if history is any indication, we're in for a rough ride. Remember 2017, the last time the healthcare system ground to a halt. Well, it looks like we're headed down that road again. And let me tell you, it's not a pretty sight. Picture this, a group of doctors standing tall, fighting tooth and nail for their right to decent healthcare. These ain't your average folks, these are the backbone of our public health sector, the ones we rely on when times get tough. But here's the kicker, they're being denied the very services they provide. I kid you not, it's a real head scratcher. Now, hold on to your hats, because things are about to get even wilder. You see, not only are doctors up in arms, but clinical officers have also thrown in the towel. It's like a domino effect of discontent, with protests popping up left, right, and center. And let me tell you, these folks aren't messing around, they're out for blood, demanding action from the powers that be. So, what's got them all riled up, you ask? Well, it's a laundry list of grievances, my friends. From paltry salaries to a shortage of essential supplies, the healthcare system is on life support, and the prognosis ain't looking good. It's like deja vu all over again, with the same issues cropping up time and time again, like a bad penny that just won't go away. But here's where things take a turn for the worse, the government's response, or lack thereof. Instead of rolling up their sleeves and tackling the problem head-on, they're too busy playing politics, scoring points while people suffer. And let me tell you, that's a bitter pill to swallow. Now, if you thought that was bad, wait till you hear this, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union is up in arms about foreign doctors swooping in and stealing their thunder. It's like adding insult to injury, with locals getting the short end of the stick yet again. I mean, talk about kicking a dog when it's down, am I right? But that's not all, folks. Over in Kisumu, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers is butting heads with the Council of Governors, and let me tell you, it's a showdown of epic proportions. These folks aren't mincing words, they're calling out the powers that be for failing to hold up their end of the bargain. And can you blame them? When push comes to shove, sometimes you've gotta fight fire with fire. And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, enter stage left, Yuhiro Kenyatta, the former president turned opposition leader. That's right, folks, he's throwing shade at Ruto's camp, calling them out as traitors. It's like a soap opera with twists and turns at every corner. So, what's the solution to this mess, you ask? 
well, in my humble opinion, it's high time the government stopped playing politics and started putting people first. By investing in healthcare infrastructure, boosting salaries, and addressing the root causes of the issue, Kenya can turn this crisis around and emerge stronger than ever before. Remember, folks, in the game of life, it's not about who's right or wrong, it's about finding common ground and working together for the greater good. You know, folks, it's not every day that you hear a former president dropping truth bombs like it's nobody's business. But let me tell you, when you hear Ukeniata speaks, you better listen up. Picture this, the man himself, standing tall at a Catholic church event in Nairobi, ready to spill the beans on politics, betrayal, and everything in between. Now, let me explain, Yuhiru isn't just shooting the breeze here. No sir, he's warning us about the snakes in the grass, the betrayers lurking in the shadows. And he's not mincing his words either. He's telling it like it is, straight from the horse's mouth. You see, betrayal runs deep in these streets, my friends. But Yuhiru's got a message for the Judases out there, even the big man upstairs had his fair share of backstabbers. Remember Judas? Yeah, that guy. He may have sold out Jesus, but in the end, he got what was coming to him. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. But here's the kicker, Yuyuru isn't just throwing shade at the betrayers. No, no, he's also giving props to the good folks, the ones who've got our backs when the going gets tough. He's talking about the religious leaders who've got our best interests at heart, the ones who will lend a helping hand when we need it most. And you know what else? Yuyuru isn't just preaching to the choir here. He's calling on all of us to step up, to embrace peace, love, and all that good stuff. Because let's face it, in a world full of chaos, we could all use a little more kindness, a little more understanding. But wait, folks, that's not all. We've got ourselves a good old-fashioned showdown brewing between Ruto and Uncle Sam himself, Joe Biden. The United States ain't pulling no punches, folks. They're laying down the law, pushing Kenya to clean up its act to level the playing field for American businesses. And let me tell you, they've got a laundry list of demands, from transparency and licensing to cracking down on corruption. They're not messing around, folks. They want Kenya to step up its game, to show the world that it means business. But here's the thing, this ain't just about trade deals and diplomatic jargon. No, no, this is about something much bigger, it's about the future of Kenya, about shaping a world where everyone has a fair shot at success. Thanks for watching. Your engagement means the world to us. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the video, so please drop a comment below to share your feedback, insights, or any questions you may have. Your comments help us improve and create content tailored to your interests. If you enjoyed the video and found it valuable or entertaining, please consider sharing it with your friends, family, or anyone who might benefit from watching. Sharing our content helps us reach a wider audience and grow our community. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Your likes not only show your support but also signal to YouTube that our content is worth recommending to others. And finally, if you haven't already, we'd be honored if you subscribe to our channel. Subscribing ensures you never miss out on our latest uploads and allows us to continue creating content you love. Remember always, successful people look like you. And all you need in life, God has it, just ask him and it shall be given unto you. Once again, thank you for being a part of our journey and for your incredible support. We can't wait to share more stories with you. See you in our next video. Subscribe.